Welcome back everyone to another video in our Pipe Stress Analysis course. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate between our piping model and our structure model. We opened again our uh, piping input model, as we can see here, and now we want to integrate between both this model and the structure frame that we have created in our last video. We will assume that this structure frame is supporting this node here, number 30. So how do we do that? We will come here, we will select this uh, element and after that we are going to press here which is insert element because we want to insert another vertical uh, rigid element here after this node and I'm going to show you why. So we will insert here, insert element and it is before or after, I will say after. So it will start from 30 and let's name the other point. Uh, 31 for example we press enter and it is a uh, vertical with 500 millimeter dimension so it is 5 minus 500 you can see here it has been uh, created this one this 500 millimeter actually is supposed to be the distance between uh, the center point of our uh, pipe and the, the steel support which is going to be under this pipe the, the steel frame of course we have here this uh, 400 millimeter uh, radius of this pipeline approximately it is 812 millimeter so we have approximately 406.4 exactly millimeter and after that there is uh, of course a spacing between this pipe and the vertical uh, support uh, you can calculate exactly this dimension and you will insert it here right now I just inserted it as 500 millimeter and I'm going to keep this portion as rigid element it has been created as rigid it's not visible from here but if I made it single line you will see now this 30 to 31 and I'm going to insert a restraint at point 31 and I'm keeping it connected to uh, the point of my structure element. If you remember, our structure element was uh, a steel frame, like that, and the point in the middle, it was 3000. So the connected node, it's going to be 3000. I want to prevent the movement in both uh, Y direction and Z direction. So here, it will be Y, with uh, let's say no gap now because we already included it I will, I will insert another one at node 31 also connected node is 3000 and this time it's going to be Z direction so now I have the support in both Y direction and Z direction both of them at node 31 and it is connected to node 3000 so I'll go back here. After I have created this support, I will go to this option here, include structure file, and I'm going to browse. This is uh, the file that we have created for the structural file. Selected, press OK. And now you have your steel element here and let's make it single line you can see that this point which is 3000 it is connected between our piping uh, system and our structure element at node at node 3000 and this node 3000 it has a vertical and horizontal uh, support for our piping system but right now the steel uh, the scissor software it is going to calculate the deflection of this steel structure and this deflection the vertical deflection is going to be uh, an addition flexibility to our piping system so this is it for our video today thank you mm -hmm.